In 2014, a photograph of a group of women scientists who worked on India's Mars Orbiter mission went viral, challenging the belief that rocket science was a male preserve. The story caught the eye of filmmaker Radha Bharadwaj, who went on to produce a film about these women at the Indian Space Research Organization. Let's take a look at the movie Space Moms, which tells the story of India's successful 2014 Mars mission. So, spend some time with your families tonight. You won't be seeing much of them in the coming months. No country that succeeded in the Mars mission did so on the first try, not even the US. 14 months to design and build the orbiter from scratch. With me now in the studio is the award-winning film writer, director, Radha Bharadwaj. Thank you so much for joining us. You're based in LA and joins us now in Singapore. So Radha, tell us, uh, why was it so important for you to tell this story? I had been looking out consciously for a positive depiction of India because mm. I was sick and tired of the you know, prevalent narrative, the tropes that are prevalent in especially Western media and entertainment about India, while all countries and cultures have their flaws, it seemed to me that India was uniquely hanged and portrayed and depicted exclusively by the mm. flaws. And uh, so I was looking consciously for a story that would present, without malice to anyone else, without insulting anyone else's culture, present a positive view of India and Indian culture. So when the 2014 Mars mission was a success, and when there were so many women scientists and engineers in such critical positions of the mission, I felt I'd got my story. This and was the one I wanted to tell. How close is this plot to the real story? I interviewed the real engineers ex extensively, and per the request of the real life engineers and the request of ISRO, I fictionalized mm -hmm. the story. They wanted to protect the identities of the Mars mission. Plus, they also felt that the, you know, correctly, that the mission was a vast undertaking involving lots of people. So to select a few people might have damaged esprit de corps within ISRO. So uh, many of the events that I portray are actually real. The mm -hmm. failure of the fourth orbit, the decision as to, I mean, the whole creative process they went through as to how are we going to launch with our weak rocket, because their strong rocket was not going to be ready in time. So those events are real, but I, of course, used creative license in chronology and in the creation of the characters. But how instrumental were women in this mission? Extremely instrumental. The tracking of the orbiter, for instance, one of the key persons who, you know, when the orbiter is launched, you have to track its every movement. That was done, actually, one of the key persons in it was a female. Uh, the development of the software, you know, women were involved. In camera and instrumentation, again, women were in critical key positions. They were not token women. They actually had real responsibilities, uh, you know, critical responsibilities in the mission. And uh, Radha, being an award-winning film writer and director, you were educated in the United States, you were based in Los Angeles, but you filmed this uh, movie entirely in India. Yes. How different is the Los Angeles Hollywood um, film industry compared to the Indian film industry? Well, it's interesting you ask that because I, this was, this is indeed, my first film was shot in uh, Los Angeles. My second film was shot completely in England. Mm. And this, for the third film, I went to India, shot completely in India, did all my post-production, finished the film completely in India. I tend to be a crew director. I really have great amount of sympathy, you know, and sort of a fellow feeling with the crew. And I genuinely felt that crew, crews are the same everywhere, you know, and in, in the case of Space Moms, the crew and the cast were particularly connected to the material because when I explained my vision to them that this was going to present a positive depiction of their country mm -hmm. and culture, it made them go the extra mile. You know, it made them work harder, work longer than they might have because they genuinely felt we have a stake in this. We have a stake in this movie. All right. Thank you so much uh, for joining us Thank on you. Newsday. And congratulations on your movie, Space Mom. Uh, Radha Barawaj, the award-winning film writer and director. Thank you so much. Namaste.